While Detroit may not be the most touristy city in the U.S., it has many attractions to excite and delight you. From world-class art museums and architecture to historical sites and beautiful public spaces, these are the spots you must visit during a trip to the Motor City. Detroit Institute of Arts the world-famous Detroit Institute of Arts has a collection of more than 65,000 artworks, one of the largest and most significant in the U.S., spanning the entire length of civilization. Its centerpiece is Mexican artist Diego Rivera's Detroit Industry Murals, which depicts the city's auto laborers across 27 panels. The creativity on display here will inspire you, leaving you ready to take on your next creative venture and maybe wanting to enroll in an art history class, too. Motown Museum Learn the story behind the music and have a good time while you're at it at Hitsville, USA. Within the record label's first and main building, including the legendary Studio A, passionate guides will show you where the magic happened and tell you how Barry Gordy turned an $800 loan into one of the most famous labels of all time. Diana Ross and the Supremes, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Stevie Wonder, The Temptations, Marvin Gaye and Michael Jackson are just a few of the artists who have walked through these doors. The Heidelberg Project. Constantly changing and evolving, Detroit's most famous outdoor art project is the work of Tyree Guyton, who created it in response to the ongoing blight and decay in the neighborhood. In 2017, Guyton told Culture Trip about his plans to replace some of the famous installations with a new vision, called Heidelberg 3.0. Of course, there's really only one way to find out what's happening on Heidelberg Street. Visit it yourself and prepare to be inspired. Eastern Market One of the oldest and largest year-round markets in the U.S., Eastern Market takes place every Saturday, with two smaller markets on Sundays and Tuesdays, offering an eclectic mix of local food, art and music in a friendly community setting. The market is run by a nonprofit that does a lot of work to give back to the neighborhood. It operates important programs that increase access to healthy food in the Detroit metro area and helps new food businesses in the city. Stopping by here will not only be delicious but also help a great cause. Comerica Park Home to the Detroit Tigers, the oldest continuous one-name, one-city franchise in the American League, Comerica Park is a great place to enjoy America's favorite pastime in the heart of downtown Detroit. If you're not a baseball fan, it's still a perfect place to meet and mingle with the locals. The park is also home to a Ferris wheel and a diverse food court to quell your hunger between innings. Guardian Building A national historic landmark and one of the finest Art Deco skyscrapers in the U.S., the Guardian Building was completed in 1929 when Detroit was a global hub. Construction involved many design and technology innovations, with the building's designer, Wirt C. Rowland, using monal metal for all exposed metalwork instead of the usual brass and bronze. Its elevator system marks the first use of technology that automatically stopped the car at floor level and opened the doors. Be sure to check out the amazingly colorful lobby that has been lovingly preserved. People Mover A quick and cheap ride on the city's monorail, functionally titled the People Mover, is a great way to see the city's resurgent downtown area. The entire loop is only 3 miles, 5 kilometers, long, with 13 stops, and takes less than 15 minutes to complete. While enjoying the tour, don't miss checking out the original artworks installed throughout the stations, thanks to the Downtown Detroit People Mover Art Commission, now known as Art in the Stations, which raised $2 million to finance the creative project. Hart Plaza Hart Plaza, named for late U.S. Senator Philip A. Hart, is one of the city's top riverfront destinations, 
featuring several historical markers and statues. Artworks on view include a 24 feet, 7 meters, sculpture of heavyweight boxing champion Joe Lewis's fist and the Horace E. Dodge and Son Memorial Fountain, designed by Isamu Noguchi in 1978. In the summer months, festivals, concerts and special events take place here, attracting residents and travelers alike. Belle Isle Belle Isle is a leafy 982-acre, 397 hectares, island on the Detroit River between the U.S. and Canada. It's home to various attractions, including a state park, a free aquarium open on weekends, a conservatory, and the Detroit Yacht Club. Walking, biking, or jogging the many miles of trails is a great way to get some exercise, see the island and enjoy views of the city and its Canadian counterpart, Windsor. Visiting this island on a warm and sunny day is a great way to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Lafayette, American Coney Island. A Detroit culinary staple, the Coney Island hot dog is covered in chili and onions. The two most famous places to get one happen to be next door to each other on West Lafayette Boulevard, and they share a historic rivalry dating back to when each business was owned by a brother in the same family. Detroiters say that Lafayette is the hometown favorite and has a better atmosphere, but many feel Americans' hot dogs and chili are superior. The only way to know where your loyalty lies is to try both. The Henry Ford You can't visit Motor City without learning more about the industry that gave it its name. In Dearborn, just outside the city, the Henry Ford is a museum that occupies over 250 acres, 101 hectares, and has over 26 meters artifacts, including the bus where Rosa Parks took a stand against segregation by taking a seat. It's among the world's largest auto museums and is home to Greenfield Village, an outdoor living museum dedicated to the history of the United States. Museum of Contemporary Art Detroit This museum is quintessentially Detroit, from the graffiti-covered, repurposed auto dealership that serves as its premises to the adventurous nature of the contemporary visual, literary, music and performing arts inside. Exhibitions regularly change, and exciting events are a weekly occurrence. The museum has a pay-what-you-can admission policy, so it's especially great if you're on a budget. An innovative addition to Detroit's vibrant midtown area, it's both a hub for exploring emerging ideas in the contemporary art world and a meeting place for the community. Third Man Records Detroit's foremost alternative musical export of the past 15 years may have moved to Nashville, but Jack White's label, Third Man Records, was founded in Detroit, with a store lying off the Cass Corridor. Alongside the record store, it has a performance space, novelties lounge and a recording booth where you can record and press up to two minutes of audio. Let your inner rocker shine as you explore the history of a label that changed music history and go home with some great music as a souvenir. GM Renaissance Center Dominating the downtown skyline are the seven interconnected towers that make up the GM Renaissance Center. Originally built by Ford, it became the world headquarters of GM in 1996. Shops, restaurants and two hotels, the Marriott features high-end dining, elegant venues and beautiful river views, attract visitors year-round. You can also take a complimentary tour of the towers at noon or 2 p.m. on weekdays.